welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get these full and luscious coils. It's pretty easy to do. Let's get started. For this look, I'm using the Inspire by Made Beautiful line. Check the description box for complete product details. Start with freshly washed and conditioned hair. The back has already been done and I've used bigger coils here. To section my hair, I like to use zigzag parts so that I don't have those harsh separation lines once dry. Using the Inspire Manageability Milk Styling Lotion, I'm going to apply about a quarter size amount to this section. making sure to thoroughly saturate the entire section here. Once the styling lotion has been applied, I'm applying just a bit of the hydrating jelly over it for additional hold and definition. Again, making sure to coat the hair thoroughly from root to tip. Using my fingers, I can now begin coiling. I'm using smaller sections at the front of my head. If you find that some of your coils may be falling flat, they may need to be coiled in the opposite direction. To coil, all you're simply doing is twirling the hair around your finger. That's it. Moving on to the next section, I'm going to repeat the same process. Separating sections with the zigzag part while being careful not to interrupt the coils that have already been set. After applying the styling lotion, I like to use my Fix and Style detangling brush to smooth out the bigger sections. It's much quicker than using my fingers to detangle and smooth. These coils are now set. Copy and repeat.
What I like about the By Made Beautiful products are that they dry with no residue or buildup. Just truly moisturized and shiny curls at a fairly decent price too. My entire head is now set with coils all over. I'm going to apply just a bit of the Eco Style Argon Oil Gel to lay down my part and edges a little. I use clips to help keep my side part separated while drying. The coils are now ready to be left alone. Time to let the air dry it naturally. Okay guys, that's it for now, at least. I'm gonna let this air dry overnight. And the great thing about coils is that you can still go outside and look cute, as opposed to like wearing, you know, having twists in your hair. I know for me, I don't like how I look when my hair is twisted. So um, the coils work. And I'm gonna let this air dry overnight and then I will be back with the results. This is just a closer look at my coils while they are still wet. My hair is now completely dry. Be sure that your hair is 100% dry before separating your coils. I've already separated the back and I'm about to continue with the front. Taking one coil at a time, I am gently separating it and retwirling or coiling to maintain the shape of the curl. Paying super close attention to the ends. The ends should form a neat and smooth little spiral. No frizz. Again, I'm just repeating the process all over. Separating and twirling in the same direction the coil was set in.
Sometimes you'll get these little stubborn ends that you have to carefully smooth and retwirl repeatedly. Patience is a virtue here. Using my favorite tool to pick, I'm going to gently fluff and lift the roots. Just making sure the hair falls and sits evenly. Don't want to over pick my hair out, which would cause a lot of frizz and then less definition. Sometimes you'll get these little pieces on the ends that may be a little frizzy. I just take a little bit of the Eco Style gel to smooth it out a bit. Here's a look at my coils fully separated and fluffed. And here are the final results. And that's about it. So the biggest takeaway with doing a coil out is separating your coils. The smaller the pieces that you separate them out into is what's going to give you the bigger volume. And of course, using a pick at the roots, a gentle pick at the roots. And that's really it. So I hope you got something from this tutorial. Thanks again for watching. As always, please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.